access your DVR using an Android device. For this demonstration, I'm going to be uh, using Tech Process Plus. And to start, I'm just simply going to tap the app right here. And this is the main interface of the app. There is a few things you're going to have to set up in place before you can connect to your DVR. The first um, information you have to get is the internal IP of your DVR, the TCP port of the DVR, and the username and password. To start, we're going to click this icon right here on the top left corner. We're going to go to uh, Device Manager. We're going to click Add. Choose Manual Add. And then input the information of uh, the DVR. For the name, you can use any name that is intuitive to you. The address, in this case, we're going to use the internal IP of the DVR. The TCP port, whatever the TCP port is set on your DVR, you have to put this information in here. The username of the DVR and the uh, password of the DVR. Lastly will be channels. Under channel will be uh, the amount of channels or the, the amount of cameras that you're going to have on your DVR. For this demonstration, I already have um, two DVRs set in here. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using JR Demo, so you can see uh, for uh, my internal IP of the DVR, in this case, is different than the default. Also, the TCP is different, and the username and password is uh, the default in this case. My DVR is a 16 channel, and that's pretty much all of the information you have to have. Once you have that done, you hit Save, and then you click this icon to go back to uh, the main menu. You're going to hit Live Preview. And then you have to make sure that your phone is on the Wi-Fi. When I say the Wi-Fi is the internal router, Wi-Fi router that you have the DVR connected to. So the next step will be hitting the plus sign. Choose the DVR uh, name that I created for this demo. And choosing the camera. It's very simple. You will do the same for the rest of the channels as simple as adding as many channels up to four. There you go. So from here I can tilt the phone and I can view this on landscape. I have other menus here. For this demonstration there is a PTC camera in here. I can move it by just dragging it. There you go. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. Very easy. I can just double tap to go to the uh, previous view or I can just double tap again and go to the full screen. Very easy. I can take a snapshot if I want to. It will go to the uh, library where I have uh, my pictures on my phone. I can make this camera uh, favorite. It's very simple to use. It's very very cool uh, app and you have other um, applications here. You have other functions in here that you can uh, on view by pressing the icons. Now to access the DVR externally, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create an external connection. One thing you need to figure out is what your external IP is. And you need to be on a computer within the same network as the DVR and just simply go to uh, www.canyouseeme.org. In there you will see your external IP and that's the information you need to input in the app. So we're going to create another connection. We're going to go to Device Manager, click Add, Manual Add. Again, you can put any information uh, related to your DVR, something that is intuitive to you, to distinguish when the connection is made inside the network or outside the network. The external address, the TCP port of the DVR, the username, the password, and the amount of channels your DVR have. Once you have that information done, just click Save, and it will go back to this menu. For this demonstration, I already have created a, a external connection. So you can see uh, is the same username and password in the same port, but now the name is different because I wanted to distinguish that connection in uh, the IP address is different because that's my external IP address. Once I have that done, I can go back. And I have to make sure that my Wi-Fi is off. Once I have that done, make sure that I'm using the 4G in this case for uh, the external connection. So I can just click Live Preview. Click the plus to add a camera. And use 
uh, the external uh, connection that you just created. It's as simple as that. It's very intuitive. Once you have this uh, configured, there's not going to be any other modifications you have to do. Just simply uh, click on the plus and add the cameras you want, and you will be able to uh, view your cameras while you're out on vacation or while you are outside your network. Very simple. Same features I can uh, tilt it and landscape, and you will be able to see all your cameras uh, on a wide angle. I can just tap on it and see it on full screen. And I hope this video has been informative to you. Thank you for watching.